Welcome to Civil War Digital Digest. I'm Will. We want to say thanks to the Historic Fort Wayne Coalition for help getting access to shoot this episode here at Historic Fort Wayne today. And this is a great place to have the conversation. Today we're going to talk about one series of maneuvers out of battalion drill. They're called successive formations. Okay, before we start to talk about successive formations, we need to learn what they are. A successive formation is any time one element after another comes on the battle line. So this is on the right into line. This is forward into line in some of the manuals. This is deploying column in all the manuals. This is change front forward and change front to rear. Let me introduce you to six period manuals that we referenced. We have the 1855 Hardys. We have the 1860 edition of Gillum's. We have the 1861 Confederate edition of Hardy's. We have the 1862 Casey's and the 1863 U.S. Infantry Tactics. We also consulted a copy of Scott's. The good thing to tell you is all the manuals on the table have exactly the same words. You could pick any one of them and we could say it comes from that because they are word for word. Okay, successive formations. When one company comes online after another or one subdivision if you're working by platoons. Let's work at company level. Who are we talking today? We're talking to the regimental commander, most often the colonel. We are talking to the senior field officer, usually the lieutenant colonel. We are also talking to three positions within the company. The company commander, usually the captain, and his two guides, the first and second sergeant. These maneuvers are going to be common we don't even need to talk about the specific drill orders because I want to talk about concepts today because once you get those, everything else falls in. The first thing that happens is the colonel picks where the line is going to go and he sets two markers there. In the living history world, often we use our general guides for this to not take away more muskets from the firing line, but the manual just says marker so you could use anything. The first marker is called the point de poi which is French basically for the rest. This is where the line is going to form from. The second marker extends out to about the end of where the first company to hit the line would rest. No matter what battalion evolution is going on, when the order march is given, these common things happen. First company's commander will maneuver it so its first sergeant, if we're working right in front, can hit the point to a poise so his breast touches the elbow of that marker. As the captain dresses the company, the rest of the men will come so whatever man further down the company, his elbow touches the breast of the marker. We now have an establishment. Once this happens, every other company does the same thing. When coming up on the line, the company commander halts three paces short of the line. With a right in front example, the second sergeant or the left guide moves out onto the line of guides and the captain moves up next to the already established company. The lieutenant colonel is working his way down the regiment in this case, he's working from right to left, and he is with the line of guides. His job is to assure that the guides do their job. Guides, when you come on the line, you must cover exactly because you are creating the straight line. The lieutenant colonel will only change you if you miss your position. Once the captain has seen the lieutenant colonel has approved his guide, the captain immediately gives right dress. The men dress over to the captain, and up to the guide, one of the men near the end of the company will have his breast touch the guide's elbow. This succession of companies coming on the line and dressing happens all the way down. Now, if you're a company commander and the company next to you has come onto line dressed and that captain has given front, you now give support arms and your men show that the maneuver is finished. This is a piece of polish, but it gives a visual look all the way down the line. When the entire regiment is formed and all the men are at support arms, the battalion commander gives guides post and all the company guides retire to their place in the rank of file closers, going through the closest interval of captain and first sergeant. Okay, well, these drill field maneuvers are really beautiful, but the drill manual is not built for the drill field. It's made for combat. What happens if you need to commence fire while the evolution is still going on? 
that's one of the strengths of a successive formation. You can do that. We will always use fire by file in this situation. How it happens is the Colonel warns the company that comes on first, right in our example, that fire will need to start. That captain, as soon as his men hit the line, he places himself in firing position four paces behind the center of his company. Second company comes online and dresses. As soon as the second company commander has given the order front, first company commander begins the orders for fire by file out of school of the company. When company ready is given, the right marker will retire to his position in file closers from first company. The left marker will move so he is opposite the first man in second company and first company will begin firing. As soon as third company has dressed and said front, the second company commander begins fire by file. The guide on the right side of that company retires between the intervals for first and second company. And the left guide of second company now helps keep that line. He steps in front of the first file in third company. So third company's left guide and the left guide of second company safely away from his own men firing, keep the two points that they establish the line. This continues down the ranks. Fire by file can begin while the rest of the regiment maneuvers onto line. One of my favorite successive formations is double column. It's a successive formation like this, but when you need to begin firing, you've put the center of your regiment where you need to be, and this is happening twice as quickly as it happens out both sides. The concept at the company level for successive formations is that the company will dress over to its officer and up to the outside guide. So if you're working to the left, the captain goes down there and the first sergeant comes on the line. It works exactly the same opposite. The only difference is when guides post are given, captains travel in front of their companies to their actual interval positions at the right of their companies. Successive formations are a whole block of regimental drill. And if we're looking to do interpretation, we don't get to drill enough. Let's find commonalities. Let's find things that make it simple. And in this case, let's find something in five different regularly used manuals in living history that is common to make it easier for all of us as we get out into the field. I hope you've enjoyed this dive into the drill head side of military history and interpretation. I hope this gives you a small connection to what the soldiers went through during the Civil War. Try it out for yourself, and we'll see you again on Civil War Digital Digest.